Hi, what's up? Welcome to this little bowstring class. Keep it short, we'll keep it juicy. Um, thinking level one, maybe level 1.5, but balanced and, um, and soft, even if it's strong. So take it as you need, if you need rest, Take it on yourself, on your body, and um, have fun, be light. Let's do this. Okay, so we'll start in Crouching Cat. If you're sitting on a block, just place a block to the side, and then moving your way up into a Crouching Cat. So from all fours, hands as wide as the mat or as wide as your shoulders. Pushing fullness into the back of the heart. Feel your shoulder blades broaden. And tuck the toes, sit the hips back, lift up, Crouching Cat. And so walking the feet wide, almost as wide as your mat or as wide as your hips, whatever feels best. Shoulders behind the wrists to take weight off of the wrists and allow the paws to really root down. Pause, push down and out to the side, heels drag back, extend the posterior chain, feel your hips rise. Arms pushing fullness through the whole back, so pushing the ground away nice and strong. Pulse through the center, sit the hips back, widen up and then reach the ribs forward. And creating length, tone in the belly, two opposing forces of the hips pulling back as the ribs stretch forward. Chin is lifted, throat is open. Find some stillness, slight external rotation, right hand, twist cat left. Toes to the left, knees to the left, sit the hips towards the heel, rise into your left ribs. Find a pulse by bending and extending through the legs. Hips drag back and wide, open bow the belly to the left. And chin is lifted. Gaze looking towards your left fingertips. Option to reach your left seed forward and long. Big extension through the whole left side. Hips pull back, belly soft, bows reaching and rising. Arcing over like a rainbow. Back through center, pulse through the middle. Sit the hips back wide and deep behind you. Reach the ribs forward. And keeping that push of the ground away to find that fullness in the whole rib cage. Externally rotate the left hand, twist cat right. Toes right, knees right. Sit the hips towards the heel and rise into your right ribs. Find a pulse. Hips drag back wide, rising into your ribs. Softly bow your belly. Chin is lifted, throat is open. Option to reach your right seed forward, long, big, full extension through the whole right side. Hips pulse back wide. Open and bow your belly as you rise and arc over. And coming back through center. Hands push strong, eyes look forward. Option, bend and extend through the legs or little knee knocks, hip shifts to the center. Option, cat burglar hops. If we're hopping, we're gonna push the ground away. Keep the eyes looking forward. Hop forward, hop back. Landing light with a spring in the knee. Hopping with an open belly. If you're just learning to hop, this might look more like a land back crouching cat. Pedal the heels extending through the back line of the legs. Keep strong push of the mat away. Narrow the knees, lowers the knees. Filling through the back heart, coming down all fours. Untuck the toes. Hero the ankles, top of the foot presses down, gently drags back, spring load through the center. Hips sit back wide, up behind you as the ribs pull forward. And 
some undulations of the spine, finding that fluid, liquid quality, wave-like. Find some stillness. Walk your hands wide off of the mat and come forward with the heart. Maybe walk the knees back just a little bit to come onto the base of the thigh. In a place that doesn't feel bony and should feel kind of meaty. And then finding a strong hamstring, hug heels towards the bum, really get your glutes to engage, get your hollows up, booty up high. The more we get our hollows to pull back, the more length we'll find in our belly. And so groins way back, hamstring hug, heels to the bum, pushing fullness through the back heart. Really feel your whole heart, whole rib cage expanded. And then coming down, elbows pull out to the side, keep space between the shoulder blades, lift back up. And the more you hamstring hug the heels to the bum, the more you root your groins back, the lighter this will become, and the more you'll feel this in your belly. Option for advancement, come down halfway, glide side, glide side, back center, lift back up. Coming down halfway, hamstring hug heels to the bum, keep your hips rooted back, glide side, glide side, back to center, lift back up. One more time, come forward, elbows pulling apart, coming down halfway, glide side, glide side, back to center, lift back up. A couple of pumps up and down, nice and fast. And chin lifted, heart full, hips pulling back wide. And then coming down all the way down onto the belly for some tummy time. Okay, elbows ahead of your shoulders. And you can make yourself a little fist or prayer or a little flower cup, whatever feels right. We're going to gently press the elbows down and drag them back towards the hips. The knees are going to begin to gently push down and drag back towards the heart. And feeling the broadening through the back heart, whole rib cage expanded, and gentle rising of the groins, hips back. Heroed ankles, energetic hamstring hug, heels to the bum. Little windshield wipers gliding your, um, hmm, gliding your calves side to side, your feet side to side. Next time your legs go to the right, allow them to land down. Right forearm meets the mat. Left hand dome out to the side for a little twist. Chin is lifted, throat is open, keeping your tube long. Forearm pushing strong. Searching for that broadening, that uh, broadening through the back, that fullness in the whole rib cage. Back through center. And just setting in the center for a moment. Elbows push down, drag back towards the hips just gently, just a little bit. And the knees press down, gentle drag back towards the, the ribs. Hamstring hug, heels to the bum. A little tick side to side. Less is more if you feel like a crunching, a cramping in your lower back, you've gone too far. We really want to make sure that we're holding the integrity of the length and the lift in the heart as well as the fullness of the whole rib cage expanding. Next time your legs fall to the left, allow them to drop down. Left forearm meets the mat on an angle up to the top right hand corner. Right dome out to the side, broaden through the back. And chin is lifted, throat is open, and belly is long. And back.
back up through center. Hands wide. Using your knees, press down, hips root back, keeping the length in your belly, the fullness in your heart. We're going to use the hamstring hug heels to the bum to press up with lightness. Hands back to the mat. And fill into your back heart. Tuck the toes, lift the knees, crouching cat. Externally rotate right hand, twist cat left. Toes, left knees, left hips back. Ear to shoulder, rise up through your ribs. And drop the right, pick up the left, one arm, one leg, side balance. Root your right femur back into the hip stocks hip socket extend through your right leg. Ear cascading to shoulder the more our left ribs rise. Left knee hugs in towards the belly first stop here. Second stop little sticky pedal a resisted pedal like you're pedaling through cold honey. Can you get your left butt to engage even when it's floating in the air? Find some stillness. Eyes look forward. Left foot steps forward. Set up a tribal lunge. Pivot the right toes to the top right hand corner of the mat. Deep seat. Hips root back wide to the left. Rise up. Open belly to the right. Little seaweed sway. And glide your ribs side to side. The ribs are leading the way. The arms are just along for the ride. Find some stillness. Setting up your base. Left foot straight forward. Right foot angles up to the top right hand corner of the mat. The stance is short so we can whoop, <laughs> bend into our knees and glide the hips back. Left seed connects to the inseam of left knee. Right arm reaches forward and long. Big extension through the whole right side. And then sweep the hand back into ecstasy. And dig, drag, right paw back as you reach the elbow forward. Big crescent up and over. Head presses back into the hand, throat is open, belly is long. Using the dig drag of the right paw to connect into your right bum. One more big pulse, extending and rising. And then release, pivot both feet to the face to the side, wide stance. Horseshoe hold to the tops of the thighs. Root your hips back and wide, keep your belly long, heart full, all sides expanding, shoulder dips, right shoulder to the left, hips root back wide behind you. Left shoulder to the right, hips root back and wide behind you. Right shoulder left. Left shoulder right. And then a little wave like infinity back and forth. Option here, we'll, we'll all sort of start here. We'll glide our legs side to side. So just let, gently gliding, keeping pockets in the back of your knees, no, no lockouts. Hips root back wide, keep the belly long, chin lifted, throat open. Stay here, or if you want some hops, root your hips back. Two domes touch light to the ground, to the mat. Domes slide to bright, arms push strong, frog hops, wide stance. Space between the feet and the hands as short as you can manage. Hips root back, heart full, eyes look forward, big hops. Wide stance. Light land, open belly, push the ground away. <clears throat> Landing light if you're hopping. Deep seat, root the hips back by hinging at the hip, hips, rise up, open belly. And taking a pause. And find your breath. Pivot your left toes forward, 
two seeds push forward. We'll take a little spring into open leg. So pulse, pick the right knee up, connect right seed to right knee. Little resistance when they meet, root your hips back, open your belly. Extending the left arm long, chin is lifted, throat is open. Option one stays here. Option two catches behind the thigh, pulls the flesh up to narrow the knee downward and kicks a wave leg out to the side. Keep the hips rooted back. Keep your belly long, reaching and flying. One more full inhale. Exhale, rebend through the knee. Two seeds push forward. Right ankle crosses over top of left thigh. Knee stays narrow, sit the hips back and wide. Arms pump down, lift up, ribs high. First stop, two seeds placed to the top of the thighs. We'll use this as a point of contact to find length in the belly, a fullness, a rising energy of the ribs. Chin is lifted, throat is open. Second stop, sits deep, roots the hips back and takes the hands to the shin, resists the ribs forward. Either way, the spine stays aligned. Our hips rooted back, all of our hollows in the groins, in the knee, in the ankles. Belly's long, heart is full. Option of advancement, right hand to right heel. Left hand wraps around behind the back to catch the inside edge of your right thigh. Little twist to the left. Keeping the central channel, your whole torso long. Chin lifted, throat open, big breathing. One more full inhale. Exhale back through center, two seeds forward, cross all the way over, Phoenix kickstand. Knees squish forward, so squishing back knee into the back of the front knee. Knees forward, hips gently back, and push fullness through your whole rib cage, all sides expanding, sweep hands back. Thumbs to the occipital low, both hands on either side of the skull. Elbows wrap forward, head presses back into the hand, throat opens, pulse through the middle. Sit the hips back wide and deep, hold them down here as you rise through the center, stretch the ribs up away from the hips. Forearms lifting up, chin is lifted, throat is open. One more, rise up. Back through center. Left arm straight forward, right seed back behind. Right heel kicks your butt, heel press. Little connection to engage the back line of the leg, pressing heel to seed. And then catch the outside edge of the ankle. Rebounds, first stop stays here, just balancing with a bent knee. Knee hugs forward, hips root back, open belly, rising heart. Second stop comes with me, coming down halfway by hinging at the hips. Your hamstring will tell you when it's time to kick into the hand to lift back up. So less is more, moving with integrity. The torso stays the same, we're just hinging at the hips to move as a unit. Toes connected, right knee hugs to the midline. Next time you come down halfway, we'll hold. Root your left femur back. Strong lightness in the rib cage, length in the belly. With grace and control, release your right ankle. Hug your right knee in, root hips back. Keep your belly long, two domes touch light to the mat. Dome slide to bright, arms push strong. Eyes look forward, hop side to side, hitch kicks. So first, um, if you're newer to hopping, it's gonna look like a low, switching feet side to side. Arms push strong, eyes look forward. If you're getting a little bit more high in your hop, you're gonna start to work with the hips and gliding the hips side to side like a rainbow. Arms push strong, eyes look forward. Hips are the ones moving legs just along for the ride. <laughs> Land back, crouching cat. Narrow the knees, lowers the knees, come down to all fours. And sit back onto your heels, take a pause. 
<laughs> so finding your breath, noticing your vibration. Big full inhales, deep exhales. One more full inhale. And deep exhale. If your eyes are shut, allow them to reopen. Push two seats forward. Rise up onto your knees, high knees. Untuck your toes. Hero the ankles, so pressing the top of the foot down. Gentle drag back. Hips back and wide, long open belly. Pushing the arms forward, searching for those hollows in the armpits, and then sweep your hands back into ecstasy. Head presses back into the hand, open the throat, open the belly. Pulsing through the center, nice and soft. Hips root back, rise up, lift and lengthen. And keeping the hollows in your groins, rising through the forearms. And supporting the head to keep space between the um, to keep space in the cervical sp spine. Rise through the center, find your length, arc over to the right. Release the right hand, sit deep to catch the outside edge of your left thigh. Use the spine to get bigger, deeper, and fuller into your whole left side. Head keeps pressing back into the hand, throat is open, and belly's long. Back through center, two hands ecstasy. Hips back, rise through the middle, lift up, lengthen the belly. Rise through the middle, find your length, arc over to the left. Sit back, sit deep, cross left hand, catch outside edge of right thigh. Use the spine to get bigger, deeper, and fuller into your whole right side. Keep the hips back, soft belly forward, head pressing back into the hand as we arc and rise over. And back through center. Push two seeds forward. Root the hips back, keep the belly long. Two domes like parachutes fly down to the mat. Float down, so light by lifting through the back of the ribs. And domes touch light, and slide back to bright. Take the heart forward, and press fullness in the back. And walk your knees back just a little bit. And we'll take some barrel rolls, big circular motions of the rib cage. Switch your rolls other direction. And find some stillness. And pushing fullness into the back of the heart. We'll sit the hips way back wide. Right leg out to the side, dome right fingertips. Option to kickstand the left foot out just a little bit if that helps with your balance. So the hips are pulsing back, right knee narrow towards the mat, knee hugs forward, hips root back, little pulses. Can we find that lightness in the right fingertips so that strong push of the mat away? Chin is lifted, throat is open. Knee hugs forward, hips root back. Option, right seed connects to the front of right knee. Little resistance when they meet. You can keep the pulse alive or find more stillness. And then release down, all fours. And strong push of the mat away, fill into the whole rib cage. And chin is lifted, throat is open. Hips root back, and peel left knee open to the side. 
open leg, dome left fingertips. Option to kickstand the right foot out just a little bit. The hips sit back, the knee hugs forward. Hero the, right, uh, the left foot. A little bit of movement, knee pulls forward, hips root back. A little pulsing forward and back. And keeping that strong push of the mat away, searching for the hollow as best as you can in the right armpit. Mm, option to take your left seed to the front of the knee. You can find more static or you can keep the pulse alive. And pulses for your bum. <laughs> Fill through the whole heart, chin lifted, throat open. And then lowering down. And take your bum for a little glide side to side. Okay. Moving back up, crouching cat, strong push of the mat away, fill through the whole rib cage. Tuck the toes, hips back, rise up, crouching cat. Pause connected, pushing down and out, heels drag back, extend posterior chain, feel your, your groins root back wide. Arms push strong, heart so full. Externally rotate the left hand, twist cat right. Toes right, knees right, sit the hips towards the heel and rise into your right ribs. Dome right fingertips. Drop the left, pick up the right. One arm, one leg, side balance. Root your left femur back into the hip socket, extend through the left leg. Lightness in your right fingertips by rising through the right ribs. Option, little sticky pedal. A resisted style pedal, like you're pedaling through cold honey. Even just regular honey would be hard. Find some stillness and take your eyes forward. Right foot steps forward, set up tribal lunge. Left foot pivots up to the top right hand corner of the mat. Deep seat, root the hips back wide to the right. Open belly lifts you up to the left. Give yourself a hug. <laughs> Have a little romantic dance. Glide your ribs side to side. Find some stillness and set up side coil. Right foot straight forward, left foot angles up to the top left hand corner of the mat. Big bend into the knees, glide your hips back. Right seat connects to the inseam of right knee. Left arm reaches forward, long big extension through the whole left side and then sweep your hand back, ecstasy. Dig drag, left paw back as you reach the elbow forward. Rising through left ribs, hips drag back wide, soft belly bows, reaching and extending. Hmm. And keep your toes connected. Little dig drag with the paw in opposition with the elbow stretching forward. Head presses back into the hand, throat opens, belly opens. Back up through center. Pivot both feet to face the side. Wide stance pose, horseshoe hold to the tops of the thighs. Deep seat, root the hips way back wide. First stop, glides the legs side to side. Keep your toes connected, keep pockets in the back of your knees. Trying not to lock out the, the knee, protect the knees. Second stop's gonna go a little lower. You can take a slightly wider stance, feels better to me. And then you're going to push your two seeds forward, really feel into the back of the heart, and come all the way down. Check it out, the extended leg. I keep a solid bend in the knee, strong pocket in the back of the knee, or what is known as a hollow. Also, the right heel, in my case, is digging down and dragging back with a heroed ankle. So the inner ankle engagement, soft top of the foot. Arms forward, belly's long, spine aligned. And then shifting over to the other side. Same thing, heel digs down, drags back. Strong pocket in the back of the knee. Long belly, full heart. One more time on either side. Hmm. 
back through center, deep seat, root the hips back, rise up, take a pause. Option for a block for this next one. I'll show with a block first. So we're in a wide stance, the hips are back. We're gonna push two seats forward, big arc over to the right, deep seat, right hand to a block. Left hand picks up. <clears throat> so this is kind of like half moon in bowspring. You can have a block on the highest setting and we're just trying to keep our right hip rooted back, our belly long. This seed to knee connection resist. Lightness in the heart, chin lifted and in line with your heart or your head is in line with your heart. No block. Dome. Extra added, two hands plant down, almost like a little pancake. You push the ground away and rise into your top ribs, in this case the left ribs. Keep rooting your right femur back. One more full inhale wherever you are. Exhale, deep seat, root femur back, rise up, step wide. A little seaweed sway, glide your ribs side to side. I'll show the other side, same, same, same. Okay, so from a wide stance, root the hips back, two seeds push forward, big arc over, sit deep, root hips back, left hand to the block, pick up the right, connect right seed to right knee, little resist when they meet, keep your belly long and open, bowing. Lightness underneath your left armpit. Chin lifted, throat open, head in line with the heart. Second stop, lower block <laughs> or dome. And dome is good because it, it necessitates a lightness, a lift from your, from your belly, from your ribs. Keep rooting left femur back. Third stop, two hands down to the ground. Really root your left femur back, keep your belly long. Hug your knee in and rise into your right ribs. Push the ground away. One more full inhale. Exhale, big bend, root hips back. Step wide, rise up. A little glide side to side. Okay, <laughs> right foot angles straight forward, left foot pivots back up to the top left hand corner of the mat, push two seeds forward, little spring into open leg, connect left seed to left knee. This connection resists together, roots the hips back and opens the belly. Reach your right arm forward, long chin is lifted, throat is open. First stop stays here. Second stop is gonna catch behind the thigh. Pull the flesh up to narrow the knee downward and kick a wave leg out to the side. Whenever I'm kicking wave legs out, I'm imagining I'm shooting energetic beams of light out of my foot to really get that isometric engagement. Toes connected, standing leg bent, hips root back, open belly, inflate the ribs. Re bend through your knee. Push two seeds forward. Cross left ankle over top of right thigh. <sighs> Catch your breath. <laughs> Knee stays narrow. Sit the hips back and wide. Arms pump down, ribs rise. First stop, two seeds to the tops of the thighs. So the first stop is a light seat. Hips behind the heart. Long belly, rising ribs. Chin lifted, throat open. Second stop sits deeper, roots the hips back, takes the hands to the shin, and resists the ribs forward. Option for advancement, left hand to left heel. Right hand wraps around behind the back to catch the inside edge of your left thigh. A little twist to the right side. Keep your torso long, keep your hips rooting back. Belly soft. One more full inhale. Exhale, unwind, two seeds push forward. Cross your left leg all the way over Phoenix kickstand. So the knees squish forward, the hips root back. Fill through the back, heart hollows in the armpits and then sweep hand back. 
ecstasy. Elbows forward, head presses back into the hand. Little pulses through the middle, sit the hips back wide behind you, rise through the center, forearms to the sky. Last big extension, root hips back, bellies are long, so long, ribs so full. I'm back to center. Right arm reaches straight forward, left hand right back behind. Left heel kicks your butt, heel press. This connection engages the back line of the leg and then catching the outside edge of the ankle. Here your left foot, standing legs bent. Knee hugs forward, hips root back, belly's long and the ribs are full. First stops here. Second stop comes with me for rebounds coming down halfway or all the way. Your hamstring will tell you when. It's time to kick into the hand to lift back up. My hamstring feels tight. <laughs> Too much hiking. Maybe not enough hiking. Left knee hugs into the right leg or to the midline. Toes keep connected. Next time you come down halfway, we'll hold. Root your right femur back. With grace and control, release the left leg. Hug your left knee in, hips root back wide. Long belly to domes down to the mat. Domes touch light, slide back right. Arms push strong, eyes look forward, hitch kick side to side. I like to think about moving with the bum, gliding the hips side to side, light lands. It's just like the legs are long for the ride. So keeping the knees hugged in at a 90 degree, arms pushing so strong, eyes looking forward. Land back, crouching cat, little pedal of the heels. Externally rotate right hand to scat left. Toes left, knees left, hips back, ear to shoulder. Rise into your ribs. Release your right hip down. First stop is just gonna keep your left leg right here. Left hand out to the side. Gentle twist, seated twist. Second stop is gonna take this left foot and place it in front of your right thigh or your knee. Little twist here. You can option to catch the inside or outside and resist accordingly. If you can find that resistance internally, you're welcome to just um, do it with an isometric resistance. Keep your belly long, your hips behind your heart and your rib cage full, all sides expanding. <sighs> Talking is hard. Talking and practicing both spring is hard. <laughs> Out of breath, man. Okay. Unlink your leg. Right seed glides along the mat to the top left hand corner of the mat. Allow your left leg to drape over top of your right and just shimmy your hips back just a little bit. Head can lie on the ground, two seeds push up to the sky, gentle twist, arms reach back, belly is long. And twist back through center, take two forearms forward, sphinx, sphinx arms. So soft seed hands and the thumb just gently angling down towards the top of the mat for that hollow in the outer wrist. And pushing the ground away with forearms to broaden through the back. And chin is lifted, throat is open, belly is long. Plant your hands, tuck your toes, twist back up, crouching cat. 
a couple of pulses through the center. You can take some undulations of the spine if you like those, that wave like quality in the back. Whew. Find some stillness, set up your cat nice and strong. Foundation, roots planted. Paws pushing down and out to the side. Fill through the back heart. Externally rotate, left hand twist, cat right. Toes right, knees right, hips back. Ear to shoulder, rise through your ribs. Release your left hip down to the mat, hips behind the heart. The first top can just chill with the right foot landing as it lands. Right hand dome out to the side, keeping the belly long, the chin lifted and the throat open. You wanna keep your central channel long from the pelvic floor to the crown of the head rising. The second stop takes the right foot in front of the left thigh. You can use your right hand to internally or externally resist the knee, to, or you can keep your right dome out to the side and find that little energetic resistance through isometric thinking quality. Unlink your leg. And take your left seed, slide it along to the top right hand corner of the mat. Allow your head to just lie on the mat. This right leg drapes over top of the left and just shimmy the hips back a touch. Push two seeds up to the sky, heart spirals to sky, nice and gentle, less is more. Arms reach back just a little bit to keep the length in the belly. Twist back forward, two forearms forward. And keeping the legs as they are. And finding the little hollows in your outer wrists by gently directing your thumbs towards the front of the mat. And pushing fullness into the back of the heart. Chin lifted, throat open. Extend your left arm to the top right hand corner of the mat. Head rolls onto the mat, arms up to the sky to transition onto your back. Using your hips and your heart and your head, just shimmy your way back onto the mat. And catch your knees, freedom pose, little rock side to side. Allowing the knees to pull heavy. So it's like a full surrender here, a rooting of our femurs into our hip sockets. And when our knees pull our hands away or our arms long, our shoulder blades get broad. I'm pressing the back of the head into the mat to lift up the chin. Knees into the air and arms into the sky. Two seeds push high. Do a little tiny bit of core here. So as the heels move towards the mat, reach the arms back, searching for the tautness, the tone in the belly, that pull, and then lifting back up. And slow wins the race. Micro bends in the elbows, chin lifted. Here are the ankles, inner ankle engagement, soft top paw. And lower back lifted just a little bit. And 
and then catch your knees, freedom pose. Knees back into the air, two seeds push high into the sky. Move the knees a little bit away from you and reach the arms back a little. Active twist, knees halfway to the right, arms halfway to the left, less is more. Keeping a hamstring hug, heels to the bum, chin lifted, throat open. Back through center, knees left, arms right. Knees moving away to keep the belly long, that tone. Back through center, knees right, arms left. Option to extend your left leg long towards the right. Like a wave leg, imagining that energy shooting out of the foot. Breathe bend through the knee, back through center, knees left, arms right. Extending by option, right leg to the left, imagining that, that energetic beam shooting from your foot. And back through center, catch your knees. Interlace your hands behind your right thigh. Allow your left foot to just land to the mat behind your bum. Thigh root pose, allow the thigh to pull heavy away from you. Hero and fiesta your foot and then extend wave leg up to the sky. We want to keep our spine aligned and our belly long. So um, just noticing that we're not trying to get our knee towards our nose, which you'll see collapses my lower back to the mat. And instead the action of rooting the femur down and finding the energy of the stretch or the engagement by the heel, for example, energetically kicking upwards. Cross right ankle over top of left thigh. Easy twist, allow the legs to fall to the right side. Chin up by the hands, little domes beside the ears, elbows up to the sky. Option to take your right hand, catch outside edge of the elbow, little resistance broadens into the back. back up through center, uncross your legs and switch sides, interlace hands behind the left thigh. Allow the thigh to pull heavy away from you, the arms pull long and the shoulder blades broaden. Hero and fiesta the foot and then kick the wave leg up to the sky, imagining the energy shooting out of your foot. Soon as I do that I get a tremble action. Chin is lifted, throat is open, belly's long, the spine aligned. Cross your left ankle over top of right thigh. Easy twist, legs fall to the left side. Chin up bar the hands, little domes beside the ears or just behind your head somewhere, elbows up to the sky. Option to take your left hand and catch the outside edge of your elbow, little resistance will broaden into the back. Engage your core, rise back through center. Two feet plant down to the ground. You can keep your hands into a chin up bar if that feels right. And just allow your legs to windshield wiper side to side. And one more freedom pose. Knees pull heavy, arms pull long. A little rocking side to side. And as you're ready, you can extend your legs long. Make your hands to your bum, spread the cheeks. And big bear hug, grabs for opposite shoulders, spread the shoulders. Lie a little more lovely. 
arms out to the side, palms up or down. You can decide and press the back of your head into the mat. Lift up the chin. Big full inhale. Exhale, let's it go. Hmm. Allow yourself to be held. Notice if you're holding any tension anywhere and let it go. Big full breathing, finding that connected fluid inhale into exhale, taking your focus there for these last moments while you integrate and assimilate the practice. And bringing smile to your face <clears throat> and allowing the rest to be sweet. And stay as long as you can. Take care of yourself in a restful way. And thank you for practicing with me. I hope you have the most beautiful day. Class is dismissed. <laughs>